And I think we underestimate emotional safety for student and qualified midwives. And I'm really interested in how we how we provide that. And beyond that, if you are in a spot where you're having to work with somebody who is making you a little anxious, um, for a start, I wonder if there are ways out of that. Um, is there somebody else that you can work with? Because it took me ages to sack my driving instructor, even though I'm in charge of that. I'm so very in charge of that. Um, but I felt very bad about it. I didn't want to let guy down. Um, but like, even if you're having problems with your personal tutor or something like that, I wonder if there's a way of saying, hey, I've, I've put this plan together. I actually think this particular individual on the course, um, who is another tutor, is um, amazing and really within my like we're quite similar. I wonder if I could go um, work with her or him or them. Um, yeah, I wonder if that's possible. And sometimes we just, we're in a disempowered state when we're students. By definition, it's a vulnerable thing to be a student because you're admitting you don't know stuff. Um, so I wonder if that's more possible. And then when you are working with somebody who is stretching you emotionally because and it's great. Like you do get amazing skills. If I'd have gone, if I'd have continued to work with this individual and gone to my driving test and passed it, like I would have been like, okay, cool. So now I've got even more skills in terms of um, making sure I'm doing well emotionally when somebody doesn't believe in me. <laughs> like that's a very healthy thing. But also it takes a lot of time and energy. And what isn't healthy is dragging yourself around. So how are you how are you um, stimulating the rest of your life or giving yourself periods of rest that mean you can do that kind of work? Because it's real work. That's probably the hardest thing you will do on any particular day is dealing with the judgment of somebody who is in charge of your experience. Like I, I think that's the hardest thing that student midwives do and newly qualified midwives do. So what are we doing about that? Um, if I was in that situation at the moment, one of the things that I'm... Um, enjoying which is a powerful reset for me is I go and swim in the Cambridge Lido the Lido is 90 meters it's a really really long pool it's one of the longest in the country and it's very very cold it's outside and it's unheated and then there's a little crappy sauna in a in a like wooden box thing that you can go in afterwards and it's an amazing reset and I know that it is not doing emotional work like I have lots of other places I can do that but that is I would be doing more of that if I was experiencing that in practice currently hopefully talking to others that got it as well it's coming back to this empathy thing if you can empathize with whoever is if you've got somebody who also gets what you're going through and they're in front of you and they understand and they go yeah that's hard I've been there that's a long way to what you need to gain through those situations. And also knowing that this is temporary. Driving for me, driving um, instruction is a temporary situation. You as a student, this is a temporary situation. It's not going to go on forever. It's all in a good cause. Um, but yeah, don't let them hurt you out there. And, uh, you know, this is only six months ago for me that I'm reflecting on letting somebody push me around who I was, I was paying money to. Like, no. We address those power structures. Okay. All right. Have a good day, everybody.